This one you might find a little strange, my uh, my decision-making here. Okay. The Virginia Tech Hokies are going to close this out for the ACC. Um, you know, Justin Fuente, like, how... All the hoopla around him when he came in, it was the perfect fit. It was all of this. And last season, like, I hate to use last season against him because it was so crazy. They went five and six. He did get that win over Virginia back. Like, that was good. Uh, he went eight and five in 2019. SP Plus and FBI both have him going eight and four this year. The win total in Vegas or the sports book, whatever, sits at seven. To go over is plus 105, to go under is minus 135. Like, you look at this schedule, and, and there's so much negativity around Fuente and this program right now. They lost, like, a bunch of transfers, all that kind of stuff, right? But they do have quarterback Braxton Burmeister coming back. Like, he's got skill guys to go through or to, to throw with. Like, the question is, who replaces Khalil Herbert at running back? Like, defense was fine against the pass. They, they need, like, somebody to step in and stop the run. They got Clemson defensive tackle Jordan Williams to transfer in. I think that could help. Um, advanced stats thought that this team should have been seven and four instead of five and six last year. Like they, they lost some weird wonky games and you know, like does, does that kind of potential, like, does that mean that they could have a bounce back year? Like, I think so. Like there's only two absolute losses. I feel like on the schedule and, and I think they could win everything else. You know, like I, I think, I think seven is low. For them, I'm going to go over the seven. I'm going to go plus 105 on this. Like, I, I think this is a kind of season where Fuente, like, you're looking at it and you're thinking, mm, something's weird here, whatever. But I I might be slightly biased, but I think this is a talented team, and I think this is one of those where, like, everything might finally actually click. Yep. You're kind of thinking the same. I think the same thing. I'm going over as well. I think this could be Fuente's best year at Vatek. I think so. I, I really think so. do. I mean, it's a tough schedule. Don't get me wrong, but I mean, my God, you got North Carolina at home to open the season. Like your your non conference tough game is at West Virginia. Like you you could find a way to win that. Uh, Notre Dame, but Notre Dame comes into town, and this is a year where Notre Dame isn't great. You know, uh, you got Pitt at home. You got Syracuse at home. Your road games are Georgia Tech at Virginia, at Miami, and at Boston College. You got Duke at the house. Like yeah, I, I, we can yeah. get to, we can get to eight wins. Pretty I can get to eight. Like I can get there, and I I might even I mean I could probably get them more. No, I, I could. Really well, I have I have them more. I, yeah, I actually I could, think I actually think this could be a special team. I think you're probably right. I think you're probably right. So we finished off a green. Yeah, I think so. I think so. So we both went uh, under on Pitt, under on Virginia, and over on Virginia Tech. Thanks for listening to the Winning Cures Everything podcast. The website is winningcureseverything.com, and if you want to connect with us, we're on Twitter at Gary WCE at Chris B. Giannini, at Winning Cures, or you can email us, Gary at winningcureseverything.com or Chris at winningcureseverything.com. Subscribe everywhere you need to subscribe, and we'll see you soon.